to Dicebreaker, where we're going to do our first on-camera Let's Play of Keyforge. Keyforge. Which is a game by Richard Garfield, the maker of Magic the Gathering. Magic. In which, we <laughs> Sorry. in which we're going to be forging some keys. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about this game and how to play, then we've already put out a Why You Should Play Keyforge video. But if you're already clued up, we're going to be playing a little one-on-one -on -one action here. I'm going to be playing a deck called HRH Nanoteen, the Brilliant Yardbird which is made up of Dis, the demons, Star Alliance, who are basically Star Trek, and Untamed, which is essentially Forest for the Beasties. HRH, His Royal Highness Nano Team, the brilliant Yardbird. <laughs> I'm playing with Endlessly Abominable Nitro. Oh my um, god. Which is Logos, Saurian, and Shadows. Um, we have left these decks unopened because every single Keyforge deck, as you may well know, is unique. And uh, we thought, what better way to bring you the experience of playing Keyforge than to just play with decks that we've never actually touched before. Speaking of the name on your deck, like I've played Crash Team Racing, and yeah, playing against Nitro was endless. <laughs> so, wow. there we go. That was a difficult boss battle. OK, yes. right. Right, well, let's give them a quick open, and then it's we're going to need to give these a very thorough shuffle. A very thorough shuffle. As you shuffle. can see, <laughs> so you've got your, oops, you've got your name card. Yeah, so if you're there. going into this blind, um, then the fun thing about Keyforge is that every single deck is randomly generated, Ooh. which means that an algorithm has already predetermined our decks for us, and they're already built and ready to roll. So we yes. just have to shuffle them up. But yeah, they have they each have three different houses, but they're all in order. So these need to be given a really good shuffle. So, what houses um, were you again, sorry? I am Logos, Saurian, and Shadows. So Logos are the tech nerds, mm -hmm. Shadow are the thieves, and then Saurians are the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah, they're the absolute best things. Roman spread. dinosaurs, just incredible. I mean, you could just, you've got to absolutely love a faction that's got a card called a Falof, I can't say it, Falofasaurus. <laughs> What's better than that? Absolutely nothing. They're also just like completely I mean, arrogant arseholes, yeah. which means that like... Six Emperor Tyrannosaurus Rex is also a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so we have done our shuffle, which you're very welcome that you didn't have to watch that. Um, so we're going to now flip the key to see who goes first. Do you think it will land on its unforged or forged side? Unforged. I'm going to do a proper flip. So you're looking for no yellow lights. You're first. Mm -hmm. So you're going to... Uh, draw yourself seven cards to my six. Yes. And then you're going to play the first one. turn, but you only get to play one card. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just sorting out where my cards go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. For the interest of. Uh, oh, for being the same. There we go. All right, fine. Cool. And then discard piles are here. Or uh, here. Yeah, sure. All right. Fine. Cool. All right, sweet. Let's have a little look at this then. Ooh. 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 Oh, my lord. Oh, okay. Whoa. That's a great card. That's really good. Oh, but it's only... Uh, okay, never mind. Interesting. Hmm. Wow. That card's amazing. Sorry, this is probably really boring for you. <laughs> but this is the first time we've looked at the decks, which means we don't know what's in them. Exactly. It's interesting. So I'm going to play Logos. Mm. That's fun. Uh, and I'm just going to bring in the Sanitation Engineer, uh, who's Hazardous oh, 1. Was... Before this creature is attacked, I deal 1 damage to the attacking enemy. And Reap, I can discard a card from my hand. Now, which way up am I putting this? So we're going to play sort of horizontal. So when you ready it, it will be like that. OK. Go ahead. Right. So that, yeah, that's it. Exhausted. But Fine. that's it. End of your turn anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's it. Split it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ready. All righty then. OK, so um, I think I'm going to announce my good friends, the Star Alliance. So this is one of the new houses uh, for Worlds Collide, which is the set we're playing with. And I'm going to pop down this guy, who's amazing, Operations Officer Yishi, who appears to be made of lightning. Um, oh, he's a spirit, sorry. Uh -huh. He has a taunt, which means that oh, each of his yeah. neighbors yeah, yeah. are safe until you kill him. Um, and each of his neighbors also gains fight slash reap, capture one ember. Whoa! Which is, is pretty good. That is preposterously good. Then next to him, I'm going to put Commander Chan, who, when she fights or reaps, uses another friendly creature which is Gears, and then I'm going to equip 
Um, my friend Operations Officer Yishi with the cloaking dongle, uh, which gives me a free ember, and also means that he and both of his neighbors gain elusive, which means the first bit of damage they take each turn from attacks. Wow, no that is an extraordinarily good Ooh. first turn. And he's got two armor. Ow. That's delicious. Ow. All right, fantastic. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to draw up to six. And it's over to you, my friend. Okie dokie. I'm going to play Shadows. Um. <sighs> And, yeah, I'm just going to play the Saurian plant. Uh, <laughs> I love these guys. Hilarious. Um, is elusive, and after I play, I choose the Saurian as their active house, I gain an ember. Yeah, so every so time that you do it, basically, because I don't have Saurian. That's pretty good. Oh, nuts. Yeah. You're thinking you, about the last I deck we played, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, okay, and then I don't want to discard that, so I'll just draw back up. Oops, two, six, ready that, and then we are good. Okay, um, I'm going to go for... Do you know what? I might play Star Alliance again, just so I can start using these guys. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put down Medic Ingram. Um, so whenever she is played, fought with, or reaped with, she can heal three damage from a creature and then ward it. So wow. I'm ward the person who's protecting her. These guys, like, they're synergistic. Like, they yeah, work that's... together well. I like, suppose they are an alliance. They're, yeah, they're a team as well, yeah. right? They're like the crew. Um, <sighs> so then, <laughs> um, you don't have any embers, so it doesn't really matter who I reap. <laughs> um, so I'm going to reap of her, uh, and I don't have any friendly creatures that I can't use right now, so it doesn't really matter about her ability, and then I'm going to reap of him as well. Um, and that's fine. Yeah, okay. so I'm just going to get some ember. So they're going to ready up back up. Lovely. I don't know if, because because it says that when I fight or reap with Commander Chan, I can use another friendly creature. Does that mean if they're not exhausted? Or does that mean even if they are exhausted, I can still use them? I'm assuming not. I'm, ass I'm guessing not. Yeah. Because you have to be able to exhaust in order yeah, to do things. Yeah, it's use, not yeah. reap with or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, question. Mm. When you attack somebody who's warded, do they still do damage? Yes. Okay. Ward can be used to either ignore damage uh, or to stop them being discarded, basically. So if you destroy move a card effect, you can also get rid of it for that. Ah, which is pretty handy. handy. Okay, well, sorry about it, Saurian plant. I'm going to play dinosaur, uh, not dinosaurs, I'm going to play shadows. <laughs> uh, so playing the dinosaurs. Playing shadows, I'm going to use the Saurian plant to take the ward off of Operations Officer Yishi. And he's, he's dead now. Yep. Cool. Uh, so discard piles we agreed were where here. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll move my keys up a little bit. Yeah, that works. Don't worry. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to play no safety in numbers. Deal three damage to each creature that belongs to a house that has three or more creatures in play. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. So she's dead then. Yep. Ouch. Uh, he only takes one damage because of his armor. Yep. Uh, and then she's on one health. Ouch, that's a nasty card. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I've played it now. Yeah. So that's that. And then I'm back up to six. Job done. Your turn. Okie dokie then. Um, I'm I think I might do Bloody this. Bloody hell, you've got three ember already. Yeah. Ah. That's me. I think I'm going to play Star Alliance again. Uh, I've only got one card, but it's good. So yeah. it gives me a free ember. Lovely. Um, it's an upgrade, which I attach to Operations Officer Yishi. Uh, this creature gets plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it. So he oh, gets wow. plus two of each. That's great. Which makes him very strong. These... So he ignores four damage every turn. <sighs> this is not going my way. Oh, well. It's fine. He's then going to... Um, they're both going to reap, I guess. Yeah? Ooh. Or do I just kill off... What does he do? I can reap to discard a card from my hand. Do I also get an ember when I do that? Is this just a thing? Yeah, that reaping, when I reap? reap just means get ember by exhausting card. Amazing. Um, I think I'm just going to reap for both to get two ember, which puts me one away from check. It's absolutely preposterous. Um, and then they go back up, and mm -hmm. I draw another card. Cool. Um, 
<laughs> Whatever that is, I don't like. It. <laughs> Holy crap! Sorry, I just saw. <laughs> what are you saying, my friend? I'm playing Saurian. Oh god, Saurians are strong. I'm I'm scared of Saurians, and I like having them. This is kind of tasty. It feels like a real waste of one of those actions, but sod, I'm doing it anyway. Uh, I'm playing the Axiom of Grisk, Ooh. which is water creature, and then destroy each creature with no ember on it. You are going to gain two chains, though. Yes. Blimey. Which All means right. that I am drawing minus one. Yeah. That My hand sucks. size is down to one. Uh, down to five, basically. Or Every time you draw back up to six, mm -hmm. You minus the chain amount, so, uh -huh. so yeah. you'll be you'll be drawing one less card, but you can you don't have a hand size. Oh, okay, all right. So then... They're all discarded, which sucks. <laughs> At least I'm not tempted to just keep playing Star Alliance for one card now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I? Do I? Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, but it's just an interesting bit of synergy. So even though it's not gonna do me as much good as it could. Uh, playing Triumph, which is, if there are no enemy creatures, exalt each friendly creature. If you do, and there are six or more friendly creatures, forge a key at no cost. Can oh you imagine? God. What? Right. And you get a free ember for that. Oh, brilliant. So, wait. Isn't if there are no enemy creatures, exalt each friendly creature. Uh -huh. If you do, and there are six or more friendly creatures, forge a key at no cost. That's, that's great. Yeah. Oh, but my no, God. It, it, I mean, I, this is only my, actually, only my second game of Keyforge. But having seen your deck and obviously the deck I last played with, and I've looked through a couple of others, it feels like there is just like there's one card in every deck that makes mm -hmm. you go, oh, ha! yeah, and it's just delicious. Uh, I think I'm gonna. You can't stack wards, can you? Uh, you can, but they all get discarded when used. Oh, is in like? Oh no, wait, no, you can't stack. Them. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that yeah. would be ridiculous. Um, okay, in that case, sod that. Um, so, my hand limit is. Oh, I could discard this. Mm. No, this is, a, this is a tricky thing about keyboard. You can only discard cards from the house. From the house you that you've, which yeah. is just genius, and you can only use creatures from the same yeah. house. I'm gonna keep hold of that. I'm drawing back up to six, but because of the chain, I'm minus one, and that is me done. Okie dokie then. I'm gonna. Hmm. This is annoying. <laughs> this is not a good hand for how I how I am right now. Um, I think I'm going to put I'm going to play this. I'm going to put down Dendrix. Oh no. Um, and I think I'm just going to have to discard these two for now, just to try and get some better stuff out. Which basically I was I have two versions of Misery Exploit, ah. and they both say play gain one Ember for each damage enemy creature. Useless to yeah. me right now, yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm up. Okay. I could see your hand if I was unscrupulous. Thank you. What do you mean if? <laughs> <laughs> it's my go, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play the Sanitation Engineer. Ooh. What time is that one? Uh, and then I'm going to play Information Exchange. Steal mm -hmm. one ember. What? If your opponent stole from you on their previous turn, steal two instead. However, ah. you did not. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm an upstanding individual. <laughs> sure. And <laughs> then I'm going to use the this sanitation engineer to reap. And but you have to discard a card from your hand. I will discard a card from my hand. Well, I say you have to. Can be quite useful. Yeah, exactly. It's the house that you're not using right now. Yep. Oh, because it's a sanitation engineer. He's getting rid of the rubbish. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and then drawing back up to five. Ooh, that's good. Hmm. God's sake. Um, I'm gonna. 
play this again, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put down the Imp Spectre, Ooh, who, when he's destroyed, uh, purges a random card from your opponent's hand. And then I'm going to use Dendrix to kill your Sanitation Engineer, who doesn't have a ward. Yep. He goes down to one health. And then whenever Dendrix fights, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. So I'm going to make you discard that one. <laughs> Perhaps this a creature. Uh, that's quite annoying, actually. And I'm done. Okay. Well, that's really annoying, especially since the chain has made me go down to five cards anyway. Oh my god! <laughs> what? This creature is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play Saurian. Really wish I hadn't killed that Saurian plant now. Mm. Oh well. Uh, I'm going to play Senator Shrix. Uh, when I play Sensor Shrix, I may exalt them. And then I'm going to play Ancient Power, ward each friendly creature with an ember on it. Fair. That should have. Um... Ancient Power gives you an ember as well, doesn't it? Hmm? Oh, yes. You need to keep, <laughs> keep an eye on yeah, those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, also, I forgot that I, I didn't ready up the um, Sanitation Engineer. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to reap. And Is that from your previous turn? Hmm? Is that from your previous turn? I hadn't refreshed them. Yeah, but it's, you played Saurian, so you can't use him. Oh, yeah, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Keyforge. He is learning. <laughs> Slowly. Cutting some slack. Okay. Uh, right, that's that. Ooh, back up. Done. Oh, that card out is cool. John Bosco, if you're watching... <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna announce Untamed. Ooh. I'm gonna play the Kangafant. I'm sorry, but the Kangafant. <laughs> it's a kangaroo elephant. Uh, each creature gains reap. Destroy this creature. So when any creature reaps while this guy's alive, they kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of great. <laughs> Uh, and the, the text is just boom, boom, boom. I don't know, I'm entirely sure what that means. I guess it's like whenever you go near the place where all the ember is, that just turns up and sits on you. I guess. Um, but also, boom, boom, boom would be the... T I mean, if it's a kangaroo, kangafant, <laughs> it's as heavy as an elephant, but it, it moves around like a kangaroo. So yeah. it would make booming noises. Um, I'm also then going to play the camouflage upgrade on it, so you can't attack it unless you're on a flank. Okay. Um, but that gives me an ember. And then I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to play Grasping Vines, which is really strong because it returns up to three artifacts to their owner's hands, but there aren't any in play. So I'll just get it for the free ember, which puts me on Keyforge territory. How many are you on? Um, Seven. And then I think I'm going to play Cauldron Boil, which is actually going to kill Dendrix. Um, oh. But it gives me an ember, so okay. whatevs. Which basically, it deals damage to each creature equal to the amount of damage that's already on them. Mm. Right. Cool. I have to say, the thing I love about this is obviously because you have to pick a house, you can only play a certain number of cards in your hand at any time, but you don't have to pay card costs. Yeah. Which is just lovely because... It like, just takes all the maths out. Exactly, nice. yeah, yeah. It's delightful. Okay. Am I really about to do this? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. I think I am. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, it's funny. Okay, uh, I'm going to play Logos. Uh, firstly, I'm going to do some cutthroat research and steal two because you've got eight or more. Oh, I shouldn't have killed him. Yes. God damn it. Yes. Uh. And then this is um, stupid, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to play Neutron Shark, which is play, fight, reap, destroy an enemy creature or artifact, and a friendly creature or artifact. Then I discard the top card of my deck, and if that card is not a Logos card, I trigger the effect. Oh my <laughs> yeah. god. Neutron Bomb. But Do you're all fine, because you can just get rid of a war token. Yep. I'm going to... So you don't want, don't want to destroy No, that no, I'm good. no, I'm good. I'm you good, sure? I'm good. So I'm going to get rid of the war token. Now let's see if we're doing it again. We are. <laughs> So, that, so at least you get to yeah you get yeah, to purge yeah. a random card from card. my hand. Oh, okay, cool. All right, fine. What have we got? Ooh, okay. 
Help yourself, my, my good pal. But if you keep... Wait. Yeah, if you keep drawing cards that aren't Logos now, you're just going to murder your own team because I don't have anyone. Do you, so do you keep doing it? You just yeah. keep going. All right. <laughs> well, let's, let's, let's resolve this first. You've lost Twin Bottle Mission. Uh, it's not Discard. Oh, no, it's Purge. It's yeah. Purge. Oh, you've missed out on Ember, though. That's a pretty good draw for me. <sighs> oh! <laughs> so you know how to destroy one of your own cards. Destroy the Neutron yeah. Shark. Get rid of the which bomb. Which presumably ends the... Yeah. Yeah. If it's dead, then okay. it can't. <laughs> it's not a terrible. Although, saying that. Do, is it, do we need one more? I think we need one more. Yeah, you need one more, we? right? Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> <laughs> so now you have to destroy one of those and yeah. give me one of the <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it was fun, though. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, so now I can forge a kick. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Go on. It was fun, change. but it was a terrible move. I just, oh. I think part of the thing about Keyforge for me is like, I've never played this deck before. I didn't have a look through it. Yeah. I've got no idea what's in here. Wacky. <laughs> if I can see Synergy, I'll try. <laughs> that wasn't even Synergy. That was, uh, what was the It opposite? was Synergy for me. Yeah. Uh, so that, funnily is enough, is my, is my go. Um, okay, so I'm going to um, forge my first key. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. So I am one third of the way to victory. So it's, it's seven ember at the start of your turn. Yep. Come back down zero ember. Okay. So here's a problem. Mm -hmm. I have three upgrades, two actions, and one creature. <laughs> Which isn't great for me. Um, oh, well, those actions are pretty good, though. Oh, no, that's good, actually. I'm going to play this, um, and I'm going to play Not Finished With You twice, uh -huh. which gives me two Ember, uh -huh. and uh, shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. Oh, very good. So I'm going to get all of my uh, Starfleet Alliance boys oh, back. Oh, no. That's honestly dreadful. Like That but sounded sardonic, but it wasn't, because I hate that. Do I get the Kangafan back is the next question. <laughs> I could also get the Imp Spectre back. Nah, let's, let's keep the, the numbers down so I've got a better chance of drawing the, the Starfleet guys. Okay. Uh, but that is my turn. So okay. after I've shuffled and drawn. Mm -hmm. You're good to go. Sweet. Excuse me. You can probably just keep playing, to be honest. Okay. Um, so, because I can spend the ember on tricks, mm -hmm. uh, I can forge a key. Oh, you kept that one quiet, didn't you, mate? So, I didn't realise until yeah. just a second ago. <laughs> forge that one. And then... Um, hmm. oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I think I might play... Saurian again. I think I will. So, I'm going to play Questor, Questor Jartra, who is elusive, so the first time it's attacked, no damage is dealt. Uh, and when I reap, I can exalt Questor Jartra. And if mm. I do, I gain an ember. So reaps now count double for me. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Uh, and I'm also going to uh, give them the Imperial Scutum which means that they're plus two armor, and mm. if destroyed, will move each uh, each ember on the creature will go in the common supply. Oh, cool. I almost put it on Shrix, and then I was like, no, because I can <laughs> spend on Shrix. <laughs> you silly boy. And I can't discard anything, so I'll draw those two. Done. Right. So I'm going to do something silly now. Uh -oh. So I'm going to play... Oh, um, crap, the Imperial Skeeton is worth an ember. Is an ember, yeah. Pay attention, Johnny. I realise eventually. Okay, uh, I'm going to play uh, Star Alliance. Here comes the x Rover. This guy's cool because he's a creature, but he can be played as an upgrade instead to give the creatures damage. Pretty handy. So I'm going to play him as a creature. Okay. Because uh, he's a vehicle, but he's also a robot. Got it. Uh, then I'm going to give him three upgrades. <laughs> what? <laughs> Each giving me an ember. Um, so. What? 
Yep. <laughs> well, they were just sat in my hand. I couldn't do anything with them. Oh, what? Uh, so this creature gains fight slash reap, user friendly non star alliance creature. Okay. Uh, he also gets force fields. So every time he reap, he wards himself. Ouch. And he has light of the archons, which means that he gets plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to him, which is three. So he's now a six three. Wow. <laughs> Wow. That is the most like bulletproof version of Brum I've ever seen. <laughs> that is Ooh. genuinely quite scary. There he is. Got uh, I uh, finally get a new pair of, uh, new set of cards, which is nice. Right. Ooh. Ah. Oh crap. Oh, sorry, at the end of my go I did not do that. Star Alliance are pretty amazing as well, I have to say. So the two new houses are very, very cool. That's a six. That's creature. that's a six with three armor. Okay. So wow. it ignores the first three damage. Wow. And it's got skirmish, so it ignores the first attack that it gets hit with. <laughs> oh no no no, sorry, skirmish means that he ignores the damage when he attacks you. Yeah, yeah. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. I don't quite know. What? How's to play? Because <laughs> I'm afraid. That's probably going to only attack me the once. It will be um, devastating. Afraid. Okay, I'm playing Saurian again. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, Imperium, ward two friendly creatures. Wowzers. And then I'm gonna reap with both. Okay. When I reap with Jata, I can exalt him. I will, so I'll gain an extra ember. Lovely. And then I'm also going to reap with Shrix, and I can exalt uh, them because it says so on the card. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on five, technically, with Senator Shrix. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I forgot, like, why do you want to just exalt on that guy and then remember that he's technically part of your pool? Yeah. Which is pretty good. Uh, and then I go up one. And that's me. Okie dokie, then. Uh, I think I'm going to play Untamed. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use Grasping Vines, which would remove artifacts, but it doesn't. I'll just get it for the free ember, uh, which puts me to six. Then I will play um, the Fittest, which also gives me a free ember, which puts me on seven. <sighs> play, give each friendly creature. Oh, wait, no, before I do that, sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to put her down so she gets one as well. Okay. Um, so everyone gets a plus one counter, each friendly. So he's now. Oh, you're joking. Seven, and she's a three. Uh, she's elusive, so she ignores the first bit of damage. Um, then, oh, very close to be, uh, being able to do this, which is annoying, but I can't. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Oh, well. All right, I'm on keyboard, though, for my second key, which is good. So yeah. I'm going to discard that. I had key charge, which means when you play it, you lose an ember. But if you do, you can forge a key at current cost. So if I had, if I had eight, I could have got an instant key. Oh, that's Which would have been good, but didn't quite have the numbers for it. OK. Don't forget to ready up. Harmonia. Sure. I'm playing Saurian again. <laughs> oh, my god. I'm playing Senator Shrix. <laughs> Again, <laughs> which means I can exalt Senator Shrix. They've cloned him. Two, three, four, five, six. I think it. I mean, I don't. I don't know how I know. I feel like Senator Shrix is female, but I don't know why. It's quite like I think the the it's the eyelashes maybe. I don't know. I think they've they've tr deliberately tried to make Senator Shrix look. I think it's because it looks like the dinosaur from Land Before Time that is a girl dinosaur. Oh, God, what was her name? Sarah. Probably. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, then. <laughs> it's 
It's all fascinating conversation. I'm gonna sod it. I'm gonna reap with Senestrix. <laughs> and then I'm gonna reap with Questajata. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to exalt Questajato as I reap, which means I gain an extra ember. Exalt as I reap, the new book. <laughs> so I'm on, I'm on Keyforge. Okay. You done? I'm done. Uh, so let me let me just refresh all this. So how, how much ember do you have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ember. So I need to either reduce or increase the cost of keys by two. Yes. Okay, cool. I'll do that then. Um, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I wondered why you phrased it so specifically. <laughs> That's so irritating. So I'm going to play um, the Star Alliance. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to play Sensor Chief Garcia. Uh, when she plays, fights, or reaps, keys cost plus two during your opponent's next turn. So she's a bit of fun. I'm then like also going to upgrade my tank car what? with the quadricorder. What? Your opponent's keys cost plus one for each house friendly house represented among the creatures to a maximum of three. So they're also plus another two. So it's plus four cost for you right now. Um, but that gives them another armor and power. <laughs> then I'm going to reap with him so that he gets warded. <laughs> Which gives me an this ember. This guy's a jerk. Oh. <laughs> I should have forged. Yeah, do it now. Yeah. Oh, was I supposed to forge that turn? <laughs> oh, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Wheels. Oh my god. Flipping hell. Um, and whenever he reaps, I can use a non, a friendly non-Star Alliance creature, so I'll reap with Harmonia as well. Which is just a bit of banter, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and over to you. <laughs> cool. So I need, I need to pay 11. Yep. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to play Logos. I'm going to play Information Exchange to so steal one from you. Ooh. Uh, then I'm going to play... Oh well, I'm gonna play Twin Bolt Emission and do two damage here and here. Uh, yep. So they're both on one health. Yep. And then I'm gonna play Hapsis, uh, which is just in shot. I'm yeah. gonna move these up. Yeah, slide them up. Slide them on up. Slide them up. Uh, after an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Hapsis, ward Hapsis and draw a card. Oh, that's really good. Not bad, is it? Uh, and again, keys cost me 11, don't they? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I should have should have gained one. You really are a silly boy, aren't you? Five, six, seven, eight. You're the one who... who bear bear in mind, forge. It, it will only cost plus two next turn. It was only this turn that... Because she played fight oh. or reap to do plus two. Okay. Unless I use her again. Well, yeah, I mean... I but it depends well. if I play Star Alliance. Well, either way, check. Uh, so you can, can at forge. current cost. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, to bet, all I need to do is. Um... Go oh, no, because I'd have go to get on. this Tell me I? how simple it is to thwart my plan. <laughs> I mean, really, Johnny, all I need to do <laughs> is raise my hand, and all your hopes shall be dashed to the wind. Oh, okay, all right then, I'll stop. You're a demoralizing opponent. I know. That's... It's the ha it's the happy way you go. All right then, I'll. I'll oh, I'll go just, on then. I'll... I suppose I'll ruin oh. his day. <laughs> uh, you know what I should have done is. Um, Done the bit where I ready up for my next turn. Yes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Star Alliance. Oh no! So she's going to reap, which puts you back where you were with the eleven cost. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then I'm going to put down Operations Officer Yishi here, which, as you know, each of the uh, neighbors gains fight or reap capture one. So he's going to reap, which gives me one, which allows me to use Harmonia to reap as well due to his effect. He also gets warded, but he's also already got a ward. Um, and then because he reaped, he's also going to capture one of your ember, which is going to go on the big tank, which you probably won't get back. Um, and he yeah. came in exhausted. Mary won't get it back. You're such a noble opponent. 
And then I draw up, I'm ready up, and it's over to you, my friend. Right, what do the keys cost me? So your keys cost you... Um, 40. No, they still cost 11. I just took one of your ember away. Yeah, so um, yes. I was there for that bit. Yeah. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> this is this is all just revenge for that sushi roll game that we played right at the start. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a long time ago, eh? That was Sabi. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, in fairness, that was that was pretty brutal. Okie dokie. Here's how this is gonna go. Uh, I'm going to play Saurian. Mm hmm I am going to... You do like your Saurians, don't you? really do. Um, oh, that's handy, mm. I suppose. Ah, oh, missed that bit, though, didn't I? Uh, uh, oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, one, two. Oh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Let mm -hmm. me think. Maybe I don't want to play Saurian. <laughs> Ah, no, I don't. I want to play Shadows. I'm going to play Inky Gloom as an action. You cannot use creatures to reap on your next turn. Okay, good move. Uh, I'm also going to play Umbra, who is uh, an elf thief. An elven thief. With Skumish, and I can fight to steal yep. an ember. Good stuff. Uh, I'm also going to play a... I'm going to have to make a second line, is that right? Mm -hmm. A vendor. So it's going to slide around like this, yeah? Yeah. Cool. A vendor uh, who can reach to deal with damage to a hey, creature. Vendor. Uh, I'm also <laughs> going to play Bad Penny, who, when oh, destroyed, classic. returns to my hand. Been there since day one, Bad Penny. Oh. Uh, and then that's it from me. So let me go on. So we haven't had a single artifact. No. Which is quite interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, so, how much ember have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've got ten, and then with that guy, it currently costs plus two, so it costs you nine at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to play Dis. And then by summoning a creature, it now costs you ten because of the each house represented. Uh, so Malison comes in. Um, I can't forge on my next turn. Uh, I'm not going to be able to. Oh, your deck! Oh. Deckhead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also going to bring Dendrix back. Don't call it a comeback. Um, yep, yeah, they both do stuff when they fight. And then I'm going to gain one ember by playing the Evil Eye, which means that your keys cost plus three during your opponent's next step. So how much do my keys cost? Your keys okay. currently cost 13. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> Oh my god. Just loading up that Brom. Shout out to Brom. Can we have a, can we have a little shout out to Brom in the chat? You suck. The four upgrade car. <laughs> is it me? Uh, it is you, yeah. Great. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing to take this out. No, so I can't wait. Um, can I stick a second Imperial Scutum on? Yeah, you can thing? put as many upgrades on there as you want. Brilliant. I'm playing a Saurian. So, Imperial Scutum. Who's Armours? Gains me. Arm to the teeth. And then they're plus two. Mm -hmm. um, we um, should have two, like, impenetrable. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to reap with. I'm just going to tap them like yep. that. I'm going to reap with them. Uh, I'll say tap, Johnny. Sorry, exhaust. <laughs> it's copyright. I'm going, to, I'm going to use the reap ability, which is you may exalt Quest of Jaster if you do gain one. So mm -hmm. I gain plus two ember for that. Um, I'm going to reap with Cernus of Shrix. Got some of my ember. <laughs> You're must, running out, aren't yes, you? Please. I'm also going to exalt <laughs> Senator of Shrieks. I could do that. How much ember have you got right now? Two, three, 
15. <laughs> You've got 15 Emperor and you haven't forged 16, the key 16, 17. I've forged oh, one. Oh my god. And then I'm no, gonna... I mean with this Ember Oh, I see, yeah. yeah. Then I'm gonna play Phalanx Strike. Play, Ooh. choose a creature. Deal one damage to it for each friendly creature. You may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. Right, so the first one breaks the ward. Ah, oh, the ward! Oh, shit. Do you, wanna, do you wanna calculate and see if it's worth it? Well, I mean, if I thought about it, I would've... I would've... How, how much damage are you going to do with each hit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, right. Well, okay. six if I take off the ward with Bad Penny first. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, so if... Wait, what? I could, I could what sacrifice is... Bad Penny, who goes straight back into my hand. Got it, okay. In order to... Oh, but he also had... Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in order to yeah. take off the yeah. ward. So the ward goes. Yeah, so let's just do that. And then you do 12 damage. If it's if it hits twice, is that what you said? I didn't even go. Put it back in. I oh, put it on my head. Yeah. Uh, choose a creature. Deal one damage to it for each creature. You may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. Yeah. So so you're going to do twelve damage if you exalt. Yeah. And then you take an ember for playing it. Yep. Why wouldn't I exalt? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to. I want to. All right. Exalt, exalt then. <laughs> exalt Hapsis. Uh, so he ignores four. Yep. And 12 minus 4 is 8, yep. uh, which is exactly how much damage he can take. So you've killed him. Because <laughs> he's got five power tokens. That's nuts. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, 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 yeah, it's a card. I was, about, I was about to say, if you... No, you can't attack him with Bad Penny, because he's got a taunt next to him. <laughs> and then if I... So if we rewound this to the point where I had... If you fight with another one and he dies, because he's got unlimited power. I can't, I don't have enough. No. Okay. <laughs> right, so. Get rid of the Exalt and the Ember for playing the card, unless you're still playing the card. So, the Ember for playing the card. Yeah. Stick it up into my hand. I'm going to stick my penny back down. Sorry about this. <laughs> Very much learning. It's quite a difficult turn, to be fair. There's a lot of effects going on. Um. I mean, I could use Phalanx Strike just to... I mean, you'll, you'll put him down. Like, he won't be as strong as he was. Oh, that's true. So you'll break the ward with the first one, and then you'll hit him for what? Well, no, because I still have to... No, because Phalanx Strike's a card. Oh, so it yeah. Ignores the okay, great. So, yeah, so the first one breaks the ward, and then the second one does seven damage. Yeah. Um, minus four is three. So yep. it takes three, three damage. Okay. So he's on five health. Did I take the ember for playing that just then? I don't, I don't think you did. I no. don't think I did. No, okay, there you go. God. You've got so much ember, I don't think it even matters anymore. So how much health have you got left? <laughs> so he's got five health left. Five health left. Yeah, so you, you take away his base health, now he's got plus five from the power counters. Okay. <laughs> That's like him another upgrade. <laughs> so so I, have to, I have to hit him for nine? Yes, to kill him. Can do that. Oh well. Oh, and I need to exalt Hapsis. This is this is an unusual game. <laughs> uh, okay, I think that's everything. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say, you know what, Wills? I reckon I can forge a key on my next. <laughs> How much ember do you have? <laughs> 18. 18 <laughs> ember. Good lord. Okay. And it costs you it costs you 10 base without any card effects that I play. Yeah. Okay, so I could win in I could technically win <laughs> quite soon because <laughs> of my ridiculous stock of uh, of stuff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Oh no. So and you're going to love this one. Okay. So I'm going to play uh, Medic Ingram, who, when I play Fight or Reap with her, can heal three damage from a creature and ward it. <laughs> <laughs> That's genuinely very funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put her at the end of my battle line over here. Um, she comes in exhausted. Um, and then she's going to Reap, which puts your cost up to 12. 
<laughs> and gives me an ember. Um, he's going to reap, which puts... I'll push that in a little bit, sorry. <laughs> There's not a room. He might, yeah, you might want to start a second line of creatures. It's fine, let me just do this turn. Mm -hmm. um, so he's going to reap, which would also ward himself, but he's already warded. Um, gives me an ember and allows me to play another non-Star Alliance card. And I will use... Um, I'm going to fight with Dendrix to kill your Senator Shrix. Okay. Which also puts him down to one health. Oh, no. And when he fights, you have to discard a random card from your hand. Lay it on me. Mm. Oh, not Umbra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then also he's going to reap. Oh, but also as part of his effect, when he reaped, he captures one of your ember. And then, oh, no. and then he reaps and gets another ember. And I'm on 10 ember. So I can forge next turn. Okay. No, I'm going to lose. It's been quite the bout. Really has. <laughs> it's been a fight for the ages. I've just drawn an artifact. <laughs> so, right, it's my turn now, right? Yes. How, are there 12 base? 12 base. Um, yes. Right. <laughs> Three from there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Expensive, an expensive little key. key. So you need to drop my ember or increase the cost by, by four. Uh, mm. Let I'm gonna have to go. I'll go for broke on this. Okay. I'm gonna play Logos. Um, Play Cutthroat Research to steal two from you, because you've mm -hmm. got eight or more. Nice. And then I'm going to play... And you get an ember for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Telltale Vapors to draw two cards. Ooh. And then archive a card. You need to reshuffle so your deck. that's one. Ooh. Can I top deck a winning card? This no. is exciting. I can't. You might have another... I mean, if I get Cutthroat two. Research again... Yeah. That's exactly what the, you need. It's, it's the only card in this deck that will give me what... That will give me it. Isn't it? Isn't it interesting how every single time I cut the deck and do that, I change the probability of whether or not I'm going to win. <laughs> it's fine though because it's always really low. <laughs> I'm not saying it's significant. You don't change the probability. You just change the result. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Sorry. Look, hark at you with your armored car, <laughs> telling, teaching me how to suck it, eggs. It started as a cute little robot car. It's now an APC that's like holding all like, of all of my military might. <laughs> <laughs> like attaching. Okay. It's like the Mad Max guitar car. <laughs> does he have it? <gasps> he does not. Oh. Uh, and then I can archive a card if I want. You have to. Oh, yeah. Do that then. Uh, and then <gasps> I get another chance. I get another shot. I'm going to use Hapsis Ooh. to fight Sensor Chief Garcia, which kills them, kills her. Yes, and then you get to draw a card, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Yeah. I get to ward Hapsis and draw a card. And he's on two health. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Not that it. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where it doesn't really matter. Nah, and then I get a sanitation engineer, which I can play. But I'm afraid that is all she wrote. So I, I forged my final key. Good game. Jesus. That was bananas. Shout um, out to this flipping car. That was absolutely <laughs> preposterous. But it was a good game. Like it didn't. I like. I didn't feel like I was that far behind you in terms of keys mm. each time. I mean, obviously, you managed to delay my second forge. Forever, Ever. <laughs> uh, and that was upsetting. But I ended on like six. Like meh, yeah, that was really really interesting. And like it, yeah, it, the the fact that we'd never played with these cards before. I've never mm. seen the vast majority of these cards before. We've never played with these decks, but it's still a really good fun close game. Yeah. It's just I. 
And it's I mean, because because the new set as well, you get all the even though I'm playing like I've played this loads of times mm. from the first set, but it was completely brand new cards because it's, yeah. it's a whole new set, right? So it's like you you're playing the same sort of idea of the house but getting all the new stuff for it. Yeah. Oh god, I love Keyforge. Oh it was the next one! Oh, it was the next my one! God. The card I needed. Oh well. Um God I love this game. It's, it's brilliant. great. Oh, uh, I'll beat you one day, I swear. Should we, just, should we just turn the cameras off and have another one? Yes. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go do that. You should click on one of these videos that's on screen now because there are lots from Dicebreaker and you can watch them. And you it, should definitely hit that subscribe button. Absolutely. Click that bell so that you know when the next video that comes up. Yeah. And it might even be a video that's not about Keyforge. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to promise too much because um, <laughs> it's quite tasty. It is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye.